<laughs> yeah, but I, I it, feel it like makes me worried. if your genetic team name and the way you qualified was quite random, people weren't expecting it. Getting the first win on the week, sorry, getting the first win on the board, having four demos to go over and having lots to improve on, I couldn't see they're not really, like, well, I can't say they're not really too happy with that. Oh, no, I'm not saying they're not happy. I'm just saying I doubt we're going to be seeing them beat Xenex, at least in my opinion. Yeah, I agree with you, to be fair. It's it's just the way Xenex were playing before, it it doesn't look likely. To be like, again, as you said, train had already been watched. Xenex had the chance to look at yep. that. They had the chance to have a think about it before they got in there. To see some of their tendencies still... Snakey managed to be on that train all the uh, sorry not yeah, on the train, on that connector. Boost it feels all like it's boosted connector every single round. And, uh, no one managed to deal with it, so maybe they didn't watch. But <laughs> Oh no, they definitely watched. The question is did they realise that or did they anticipate it? Running the server is completely different, obviously, as you've got so many things going through your head. I mean, can you just think, oh, I'll try and play the way around? Well I'm gonna am I gonna preface it? So generic team name deciding to opt for that C T side and the question is this C this C T pistol is very important. If you can win the C T pistol and hold off that initial Pressure from the T's is going to bode very well leading into the half. Yeah, and already they are going to be sitting pretty. Another little bit of a gap in a smoke allows for Isaac to catch a peek, but it also allows him to catch a bullet to the head. 14 points of HP for this guy, and Xenex is still in a great position to do work. Nothing really um, stopping them right now. The bomb's still in a position where it can move anywhere. Three players stacked up over towards A. If they sell this, actually, this could be. So the point, the point of this T setup is, gen like, generically, you're going to have that CT player, that solo CT player on A. He's going to push long. And the idea, when you play three towards, like, camped up behind the, the, the bin there, they push long, those three players catch him off guard, and they have a free A bomb site. And you can also fake that, too. Imagine if you're that CT player, you spot three people, you're shouting, three A, three A, three A, three A. And then the over rotate comes, and they can just go, you know, back towards T spawn to B. But regardless, didn't quite happen for them as Major League's picked up the first. It's going to be the one round, one person leader, sorry, going into this first round. And Peggy, though, close connector, going for that wide face, actually catches. Two, sorry, a player off guard, and Isaac, he's low HP, gets the headshot as well by Peggy. One man lead, sorry, two man lead. Actually, I don't know, it's a one versus one. Jakey is below 50% HP, but not really. Oh my goodness, I would talk if the rounds were slower. Regardless, Jakey there, Snakey, all these names ending with EY, it's getting quite frustrating for me. Snakey, 3k there, as I was saying. The setup there from the T side, three towards long, catch that player off, and you can bait that over rotation from the CTs, or you can just head towards the free bomb side, which would be A. But major leave the opener there. But Xenex though pushing to Peggy, they're pushing towards connector into Whorehouse and taking down those players. And ultimately, Jakey there going down in that one versus one. That Chris Petra coming in from Snakey. Yeah, a little bit of a shock. Xenex just suddenly torn apart. Yeah, so much happening at once is unreal. Falling down apparently. Going to be left uh, obviously in a position where they can buy up into round number three, and they are going to be saving for it as they got the bomb down. But in a place I don't think any of them were expecting. Earlier on, this round though going to be fairly simple with a quick rush over towards A. It's Major Lee once more the man to defend and he's reloading as he spots two and has to take a different angle. If they can surround with these pistols, if they can find the first they get the plant, the weapon, it gives them uh, a little bit more space to work with. But as you said, the plant is the main objective. And a potential AWP as well could come out for the T side. I mean, not really looking for the round win, just to clean up the frags here. Trouble, going to take that 2k, going to start to get a few thousand dollars on the board there. Extra money from the SMG, but... Two plants now for Xenex. The money, I think they will have the AWP onto Jakey. Let's just see once this defu defuse comes in. Take a look at the money now. And yes, the AWP will be out. So the question is, do they go for the AWP and less utility, or do they just go for the five rifles and more utility? I am uh, well, waiting to see. I mean, It depends. If you, want, if you want to go for the B-Rush, yeah, then this is what we're going to see. The B-Rush is going to come out. They know that there's not really going to be too much firepower stopping it. The thing is, the HP of that Mag-7, he's playing close crack. If he's not flash, if he plays counter flash, you can actually get a few ki kills there. So, the B rush coming in, five players towards the B plat, no players dropping here, it comes. Isaac going to be the first man with the name, but nobody actually in his way as he starts to shoot, Jakey does get there. So one frag coming in for free, boost tree the smoke, generic yep. team name going to be set up. Now five versus four, and as you said, the boost tree coming in, allowing for Snakey to find himself one more, the man on the boost it seems tonight. Peggy though, responds with a frag of his own, and AHBs are going to be coming in now. Mag 7 in hand to try and find this one back. Still though, in this retake, it's a one-man lead, but actually gets equals out by Peggy. So three versus three, and I'm starting to favor the T side there as his CTs are low HP, and they have to walk into these crosshairs. Dances with the nade kill, throws up the monotop, but there's no one B plat. Both these players are outside drop, and this is well played. They want to spot both the players before they plant the bomb, but Snakey, they're close to smoke. Can he spam Peggy? Here's the reload close to him. 
Oh, Crossy on his head, but the question is, these players are so low. Does he jump through the smoke? Goes through, spots the playoff guard, but gets taken. Gets the trade, it's trouble now in the one versus two. This is winnable considering the HP on these players, but JT, go on site. Will go down, gets traded though. And what I mentioned there before was that you knew what was happening in that round just from the buys. Instead of going for the orps up, playing slow, going for those picks, maybe going for the A long pick or going for picks towards the map, they opt for Jake on the P90 and his job with that P90 is to jump out crack. Swing wide into B short, go through that B short smoke and catch the player off guard. But Isaac, he's on the ball, gets the spray through smoke, and then that CT boost on tree nets them another kill. So unfortunate scenes there for Xenex. But generic team there, they won the they won that round and trouble gets the opening kill. It's gonna be a one man advantage already, just twenty seconds into the round. Yeah, very unfortunate for Xenex in this round as well, it would seem as as you said, trouble finds himself the first. It's gonna mean a four versus five from the start for Xenex. And just sort of a call for them to play a little bit slower. Uh, Major Lee also going to be set up in a brilliant position to catch off Shaney if he does decide to go through any further. At the moment, fortunately for him, he seems to be falling away a little bit as the rest of his team start to make way on that gap push. Of this smoke. This is a failed Olaf Meister smoke. Should be covering the gap. But actually, used to the advantage of the T side. Trouble with another, trouble with another orb shot. Still the one man advantage there as Trouble gets that reply. Question is a snaky tree. Will he spot this player out? Yes, he will. Peggy there. Gets sprayed through the tree. Unfortunate scenes for him. And Major Lee as well, using that one way. So many one ways whenever we see genetic team they play. I'm not sure if they're even. Uh, intentional. Yeah, I wouldn't say they're intentional, but regardless, 50 seconds on the clock. Dance is the one versus five. The next one is low. He just wants to save this, save his guns, save his utility, sorry, and not die after time. I mean, if you save that one AK, you can play a contact play. You can play that smoke, do the olive smoke. Play B contact, have dances, try to get the entry, and if he gets the entry, rush on to B. Or A long, regardless. Well, oh, either or. Fortunately for him, there's a nice little hole to hide it on Cobble. Not really uh, too much chance of him being found, mm -hmm. although I assume generic team name are going to put a little bit of focus into it. I mean, they don't have much to lose. Mm -hmm. Well, they sorry, they rather they don't have much money. So they yeah, don't yeah, they, they want to overface this. They'll, yeah, they'll phrase that fairly wrong, but <laughs> <laughs> they don't really want to be losing money, so they are going to be a little bit cautious about it, but they, again, they're going to want to sort of uh, negate exactly what you just said from happening. They want to take them yeah. out. They want to destroy the economy of Xenex. They want to put them in a position where there's no chance to come back through into the next round. And but the T economy, though. It's not really uh, going to be possible as we do see Xenex managing... Or they could Garthus force, they could force off this hold. one AK. This is the thing, though. Do they force off the one AK? Oh, yes, they are. So I imagine this is going to be a B rush. Dance is playing slowly towards Plat. Have the players drop out. Actually, no, they're opting for the A rush. Having dances maybe with that AK going towards mid, going for those long range jewels, and those tech nines trying to get the pick towards short. Sorry, A along. Trouble with the AWP. He might get caught off guard if this A rush comes in. Well, it looks like they're all going to be heading straight oh, through into through Major mid. Lee's eyes. The AWP not even coming oh into play, but the AK with four. JT, the last man left, does manage to find the refrag, but it's going to be too little, too late as Trouble finishes him off. It's so unfortunate as well. I mean, all these rounds, you know, team, and they've had four players towards B. They've had that solo A player. Great read from generic team there. They're not really anticipating the force play, but anticipating the A rush, having two players there, the AWP long, the player mid playing close to smoke, takes down four players. That's a great round for Major League. I'm also going to say lucky for trouble, because if they had have charged oh, yeah. long, I mean, if they I had mean, have headed head on into him, that would have been an absolute disaster. But regardless, a three round lead now for generic team name. Bomb and most of the players heading towards B. Looks like it's going to be the drop. Maybe if they can take control of drop and get that fake in, not the fake, sorry, the split. There is a chance for this round, but the question, the problem is they have no armor, no utility apart from a smoke and a flash. So, how do they use that? How do they use his nades? Well, at the start, not at all, really. Flash comes oh, out. Actually, and that's be Isaac to push. Yeah, Isaac caught completely out, but they don't notice Snakey behind them. The man's a little bit sneaky, and he does they manage to pick no up armor. one from the position. AHB also going to be picking one up, and as you said, no armor going to be a little bit of a hindrance here as these M4s go to work. He can actually spray through that. He hears the bomb. He knows where it's being planted. Actually takes down Dance. It's quite unfortunate there with the USP. No armor. He's just going to spray him down. Take down Jakey. Thing is, though, bomb down, two players down for Genetic TNM. That's a great round for Xenex. Even though they've lost it, it's still a great round. I'd consider that, you know, quite a successful round. And it depends what angle you're looking at from. They did. Um, they have, they have yeah, great no, money they now. They did put a little bit of money into it, but as you said, they got a, a so decent return on investment. Sorry, and sorry, it means sorry. we are going to be seeing. A fairly strong buy coming into this next. Do you, yeah, so the orbs out on Shaney, do you play around this? Do they allow Shaney to hold that A long peak, trouble there, continuously going to A long, or do they go for the B plat pick? Do they wait for the players to push towards B plat, or does he go for the chicken the chicken coop peak? I mean, when you have the, or yeah, holding for this trouble peak, the question is, will trouble walk into a scope? And it looks like he will. That's the opening pick for Shaney. Great read, he's done it every round, and now he goes down. 
wonderful way to take advantage of habits being formed and give Xenex that advantage they sorely mm -hmm. need. Obviously on T side, they're lacking rounds a little bit at this point and they do need to start getting themselves back on the board. So that pick, a great way to get things going, a great way to start things off and a great way to grab that advantage and split the team up. I mean, generic team name at this point playing 2-2, two -two, extremely vulnerable wherever Xenex want to go. The thing is that the early rotations have come round now and it's going to be three players heading towards A. This is a good read. So I'll explain it after the round once the action is unfolded why this is a good read. But the smoke though, going to be blocking off those T's, T player vision. But Major Lee, this could be the, ch the uh, chink in the armor. Chink in the armor there, peeks out, takes the frag, takes the headshot to JK. And that's a one for one trade. One for one loss, sorry. Four players on each side and 55 seconds on the clock. Looks like Zenit's getting hot feet. They don't want to push towards his side, but I mean, sh Shaky just throws with the lead. But gets traded by Major Lee. Three versus three now. Favoring the T side, if Major Lee can get the trade here and actually takes down a player. So JT with this flank, can he get the pick onto here and open up this A bomb site? He's going to be trying at the moment, working his way around APC, hoping that somebody's there in any spot the side. Easy frag for him. You know where the other guys are rotating <laughs> as well. Isaac's now left as the last man alive. He's on the rotate. He's trying to get stuff started, but JT's already seen him, and the bomb is going to be going down. Meaning that, unfortunately for Isaac, they know where he is, and it's going to be 1v2. He has a Molotov. He has a nade. He has a kit. But honestly, in this situation, as long as Xenex don't make mistakes, yeah. he shouldn't have a chance. Yeah, he does have the molly though, so he can molly behind sight where the other player is playing, but gets a nice, JT gets a nice headshot, takes down Isaac. So, why was it good to stack A there? When you have the man disadvantage on the CT side, sometimes it can be so difficult to retake that A bomb site. And at a point where, if they go B, save. You know what, they've had the round, fair play, they can have it. If they go A, and you overstack A, you have three players here holding off the defense, holding off the attack, sorry, and that's what happened. Generic team name realizing how hard it is to retake A and even though the T's could have gone back at any point, that smoke towards long blocked off the vision, so neither team having any idea on any of the information there, but the good read coming out from generic team name. Yeah, and I mean to be fair as well, generic team name, it's not like they can't get up around at this point. It's not yeah, like exactly. they, it's they, not the like rounds, they yeah. couldn't take that hit because they were sat five one, now it's five two, but they've still got money, in fact enough to Warp put them drop. on a double up. And don't know how I feel about that. I mean if they jump out he whiffs and that's drop opened up and his teammate will die, but yeah, exactly. The player jumps out. He gets smoked off and the trade happens. This is really, really bad now for Genoic Team. It means the B split can come in, but Snakey takes that frag. One play, one more player B plat. Isaac though, retakes drops, retakes drop, takes down Peggy. It's now two man lead for Genoic Team Name. Genoic Team Name indeed in a two man lead. Shaney gonna be seeing what he can do to work his way out. Drops that smoke and waits for Jakey to get on the ball. But Isaac, he's gonna oh, be ready and waiting. Easy frag for him, and it's Shaney left now in a 1v4. Not a situation he wants to be Just in, but a situation he'll try and make the best he can. Finds himself one onto Snakey, has the bomb in his hands, and is going to try and see what he can do to cross into sight. A big problem for him at the moment, though, there's no utility, and there is going to be an AWP watching. I mean, Snakey there, I would, I would say maybe throwing his life away. If that flash comes in, you can just jump, you can just jump spot over the, pl the platform between the legs of the statue. But regardless, they win the round, so it's not really that big of an issue, but the AWP is saved, so the double AWP setup still providing dividends for Genetic Team Name and Xenix. Caught off guard, considering there's a four round difference already in this, in, already into this half. Yeah, Xenix definitely in a, a little bit of an awkward position now, as they do have to fall back onto those pistols and back into a position where Generic Team Name have the advantage. As a result, you can see they're going to be going for something simple, just a fast push out towards B. Molotov in the way causes a couple of issues as Isaac manages to find one with that and two with the AK. So this is a problem. Now it's all going to be about getting that bomb down, but there's going to be three CTs waiting to stop them and only Jakey to try and make it happen. Finds the first, finds the two, second, yeah. but the third not going to be coming his way as Trouble takes him out and makes sure both orbs are secure. That's a CT shooting gallery there from Drop, just holding off that B, I believe it's called Speedway, and uh, most people call it, I call it Short Bop. Regardless, B Speedway, holding that off with all their rifles and giving up the B bomb site and just killing them as they cross, as they jump out from crack. So well played. They want to take those two close range duels with the pistols. And uh, unfortunately for them though, Jakey does get two as they have no head on Jakey has some nice aim, but that's the entry pick for Shaney. When, when he smoked the mid, he expected the orb to pick there instead of long, and it's well played and it's well read from Shaney. Yeah, I mean, another nice read from the man, finding them and opening into a round. And honestly, it could be the difference. It could be their third round on the board. It could be another chance to get themselves started. And I think Xenex have to hope it is. 7-2 at the moment is a worrying prospect. This is going to have to be great. But I'm actually glad it's trouble peeking into Shaney and not vice versa, because it shows confidence. Trouble's willing to keep peeking into Shaney. And I mean, he might be losing the duel, but at the end of the day, if he wins that duel, it's monument. It's just huge for them in the round. But 
four players now towards A, and that lurker play above drop. All he has to do now is wait for the attack to come towards A, get that backstab kill towards drop, and it's just a complete split in the defense of the CT side. And JT just trying to get attention, but the thing is, is that CT player that's pushed up B, and they know it's going to be A. And AHP at least manages to find one. Snakey going to be taking the second as well. And that means it's Peggy, Dante, and Jakey now left at the disadvantage. Still, you've got Major Lee in a position where he could have done damage. Fortunately for Xenex, Peggy is going to be checking that. Now it's just a question of whether they're going to be expecting a man from behind. Isaac pre-fragged for him. AHB helps him out. And that means the bomb's down. And it's all on Jakey to find it with no chance as the AWP picks him off. An eighth round for generic team name. And just... Look at the economy on Xenex. 8 2. They're back on pistols. Yeah. This is dire. I mean, if you're Xenex, then you have no B plat pressure. You don't have any players towards there. No players scouting information or showing, showing any presence. You have to expect that backstab coming in at one point because there's no player to contest it. But six round lead now, and uh, looking like it's going to be 9 2. Quite surprising considering that um, Xenex team got quite stomped in the last map, and now this is Xenex pick. But do you know what I think it is? I think generic team, they might have thought, you know what, guys? We lost the last map. It's last map here. We have nothing to lose. Just show them their respect. And they're winning those angels, and they're playing aggressive, and they're taking the intuition, and the pushing for information is working. Honestly, a little bit of a shock to me, though. Not something I thought we'd be seeing. Yeah. It's, it's honestly a great mindset coming out from generic team, name here. Something that, yeah, is absolutely wonderful to see in action, and something that I reckon is going to be doing these guys well. Obviously, this round... A little bit slower than I might have thought, as it is Xenex just on those pistols again. A set of armor on Jakey, but nothing else really available for them. It's all going to be about, I think at this point, just finding those frags. I think at, at the moment, hoping that the CTs get a little bit aggressive, maybe hoping that they can find something mm -hmm. if they get overzealous. But look at generic team name. You're talking about no respect. At the same time, they're not being stupid. Yeah, no over peaks. They know they're on pistols, so there's no reason to throw away those guns and throw away your investment there, especially when you're playing double orb, where the economy is so vital. But... 2-1-2 two, two setup now coming up from Xenex, so weak play towards... Actually, no, there is a player outside drop, so... Actually, opting to go for that weak play towards B-plat, but... Xenex gets taken down, one man lead already, and here comes the mid attack. Major League going to be in a great position to stop this flashed out, but Peggy doesn't see him, and that means that he is going to have a very fun time indeed. One found before Shaney and Jakey can tag team to shut him down, but AHB and Isaac, they're at the doors, and they're ready to do damage. Now just Jakey left. He's found himself the AK, but he doesn't have doesn't a position to that, do yeah. damage. Trouble from behind with the AWP. Make sure that generic team name don't lose more than one man as they reach round number nine. The question is, does Shane... Yep, yeah, he will. Shaney will go f opt for the AWP, no head armor, and go for the less lack of utility. It feels like when Shane doesn't get the opening pick and generic team doesn't get it, it just seems like they fall apart on their, on their attack. I mean... Generic team keep whittling down the uh, T side attack as the players just fall left and right, and by the time they hit the B bomb sites, sorry, by the, by the time they hit the sites, everyone's already dead. Yeah, this round though, Shaney not going to be finding any pick as he hangs back. Nobody actually shows themselves to him, so that's going to be a little bit of an awkward situation. It's only instead. Three, yep, it's only been three bomb plants, is half, and the past four rounds has been all the T players dying, so it's actually making a big difference. Isaac though has a little tiny gap in that smoke, and I keep feel like I keep saying it, but. Always gaps in the smoke now for generic team name, and the fact that there hasn't been bomb plants on the Xenex side for four rounds, if they lose this, they're going to be reset maybe once again. Oh, they're definitely going to be um, in a dire situation they don't really want to be playing from, and you can already see generic team name starting things off as they mean to go on. One frag uh, on the back of on the back of Isaac a little to gap. start things off. Yeah. yeah, on the back of a little gap. As we've seen so many times, and Isaac actually looking to gear up oh for more, goodness, but the Peggy. drop shot from Peggy going to be starting one. things. A second coming through as well. This is what Xenex needed. Maybe a little bit too late, but the frags are starting to come through. He Isaac get now third, gets yeah. aggressive, and this is the third for Peggy, as you were saying. Nice and easy. The last two CTs split between the sites means we are going to be seeing Xenex pushing onto a major lead, not in a position really to stop them, and obviously Snakey not wanting to risk the orb. Obviously, quite lucky there. Quite lucky headshot from Peggy jumping in midair. But the thing is, if you're the solo drop player and you get and your teammate gets smoked off, just give up drop and play outside window, and you can play the re you can retake drop together, or you can just play further back, and it's a lot easier to get those multiple frags. But instead, that player goes down about one frag, and it just opens up Peggy to get those multiple kills and completely open up the uh, the T attack for the T side. Yeah. At this point, obviously, we are going to be seeing. Uh Snakey on a little bit of a a little bit of a running mission, just trying to keep himself hidden, trying to make sure nobody finds him. And honestly, I wouldn't expect Xenex to go for too much here. 
as you were pointing no. out before, their economy is extremely low. Yep. They don't really have enough to warrant They can't the risk the reset. And when you think about it, generic team name have a fair whack of money anyway. They'd be able to buy up regardless of what happens. So another smart decision from Xenex. A beautiful round from them based off, as you said, one lucky shot and a couple of very skillful ones. Yeah, very it's well just played. Uh, You've got to give up drop. If your teammate gets smoked well, off, there's I'm no... There's just the best you can get from that situation is a one-for-one one trade. And even if you get the one-for-one one trade, you give up drop, you give up that A split. And it allows the T's to go for that A split and attack the site from multiple situations, multiple positions. But if Xenex lose this, we could be looking at 10-5 half. I mean, even worse, maybe. So crucial yeah. round now. And this round actually could determine the rest of the game. If Xenex lose this, uh, things are going to be getting difficult for them. And I'm actually... Uh Quite happy to see, for their sake at least, that they've dissuaded a couple of the players on the side of generic team name from going for those aggressive peaks out. Hey, look at them. They've conditioned them not to do it, and now they're confident that they can set up towards B with no real disturbances, and it's it's working out. So things in their favor to start off with. It's just going to be about finding their way onto the site and not getting taken out immediately. Molotov not going to be helping that. Snakey's AWP also going to be causing some issues. This is the problem. I mean, if you're Xenex right there, you know the, t you know the CTs have money, you know they have economy. Just do what you did on the train and throw those smokes out, wait for the mollies, wait for those mollies to go, flash over and attack the side. But Isaac on statue now, wide faces to the left side. Here's their player, sprays them down and smoke. That's the bomb down. Zen JK though, takes control of drop. Maybe he's going to hear that player rotating in from main. If you can take him down, it's going to bode very well for this T side. Well, said it's going to be trouble and Snakey in with a frag of peace. Two orbs in tandem, working bomb beautifully. Bomb down as well, and that means that it is going to be Shaney with the recovery mission. Three players to find, not much to find it with, but the first is going to be a definite frag for him. Unfortunately, Snakey's a little bit too quick. There's flashes on your teammates that just all you've got to do is flash and peek. And as I mentioned earlier, when you're playing the CT side, you don't want to commit to so many p angles and peaks. Just slowly jiggle peek for information, have a teammate flash for you and then peek with that instead of just going for these aggressive, risky peaks. But as I mentioned before, the reset coming onto Xenex and they're going to opt for a full eco, apart from one, Kevlar and helmet on Jakey and then uh, aim for that 11-4 and win pistol and go from there. Yeah, dangerous game to be playing and a dangerous uh, round for them this time as well. As you were saying, 11 rounds looking like it should be on GTN's side. But Jakey going to be seeing what he can do to start things off. I was imagining maybe we could see him take trouble out there. Instead, he's going to be refacing and actually continuing to stay alive, just not expecting Major Lee initially. He's got all their attention what though. What, what, what is Major Lee doing there? Getting a bit frag hunty there, throwing away his frag and throwing away his life and opening up this A bomb site even more. But trouble there gets the replies to four versus four. One minute, ten on the clock. The T's don't have to commit to anything. Just Jakey having I mean, able to run around. Just yeah, Benny it, it caused so much needed. pressure and that pressure causes a mistake from Major Lee and actually gets him the opening frag but he gets traded out but Isaac there spots the bomb and two plays great Molotov he's going to force them in but Tansi with that crispy headshot with the deagle can he get another one he's going to anticipate a player close rock or connector still though oh my goodness hits the flick as it looks like it's nothing for him Peggy though on the flank the trades do come out it is Snake in the one versus two and somehow with no armor this is in a one versus two in the T situ in the T's favor yeah, I mean, Dancy still has that deagle. He doesn't have much more, but he doesn't seem to need much more this round. So, Snakey going to have to be careful about how he plays this one. First, going to be trying to deal with the man with the Peggy goes down, and this is what he needs. Dancy, he has a rifle now. That He's trying to get that bomb down, but Snakey drops oh, the nade. That's, that's, from that's, 70, that's from 70 HP. Obviously, as I mentioned before, no armor is just... It's so important when you dual plays with other rifles because you can have that aim punch affecting you, and somehow, some way, Zenex have lost that from a 1 versus 3. A one versus two apologies. I mean, again, it's not a round they were expecting to win. Yeah, but they will have the op though. Oh no, they they had they had an they had a chance to win that round, but it wasn't one that they were really thinking was going to be theirs. It's not one that they were really going into with that expectation. So, the damage they did, I think, really going to be something that they should be happy with. Yeah, they got the bomb as down. Well as so that bomb, yeah. this means that Shaney will have that op and they will have the utility. So, going to this round, the question is, do they play slow and steady and allow Shaney to get this pick, which is working from earlier? where they got those three consecutive rounds, or do they opt to play fast? Looking like a slow default, so they're probably going to work around Shaney's orb. Yeah, I mean, Shaney this time switching it up a little bit, deciding instead he's going to be holding towards Speedway, hoping somebody gets a little bit aggressive, but so far no dice, as he doesn't have the chance to find a frag before a smoke goes up. I'm just waiting, though, for the gap to come into play, and Snakey on top of the oh box no. going to be the man to find How it. How is Jumping Shaney not up and down, Shaney not seeing a thing. Snakey not either, and that means that neither of these orbs going to be coming oh in, and instead no. it's going to be AHB with the two-man mowdown. Double kills he got in his last game in one spray down. But regardless, 
Two mana advantage now for generic team name. And Xenex is looking like it's going to go 1 1. The boost tree going to catch that off peak angle. Yep, takes down Dances. He's not expecting that. Orpo, though, as well. He's expecting it, but still goes down. I mean, I don't know. It looks like these aggressive. Wi oh, God, JK. It looks like these aggressive wide peaks coming out. And it looks like it's more careless than it is stupidity. Almost as if, like, they've. Gi I wouldn't say they've given up, but it's careless mistakes you wouldn't expect to see from these experienced players. Yeah, well. JK doesn't have room for any of those <laughs> at the moment. Going to be in a 1 versus 4 on 34 HP. Just has to hit headshot after headshot if he wants a chance. And unfortunately for him, I think as anyone would expect, and as is expected of any player, he can't make it happen. One frag to him in the 1v5 before he drops. Mm -hmm. And it's 12-3. CT side. Yeah. If they get pistol, it's over. this one's it's over. over. I, I, if, if Zenex loses pistol, I can't really see them mentally coming back into it, let alone coming, into it, coming back into it regardless. So... Frag-wise, Peggy leading the charge there. 4 for 14 on JT. I mean, he played phenomenal last game, so you can't really put too much of it onto him. AHB having a far better game this time. As I mentioned before, everyone has their bad games, so can't uh, hinder on them too much. Question is, though, is this a, ta is this a technical pause or a tactical? Let's take a look. Um, they haven't actually said in chat yet, lads, so I'll get back to you as soon as I know. Yeah, when we know a little bit more, we might be able to elaborate on this. Let's just talk about what we've seen so far. So, good points from Xenex. Uh, not many. Shaney's Orp when he gets the well, picks. Yeah, I mean, Shaney's Orp is a great way to start the round, but they've, they've not had huge success following it up. I mean, you were mentioning it earlier, and I want to look at it now. The amount of bomb plants they managed to find Yeah, if we what, could get the scoreboard up, please. We could Sorry, five, five across the entire half. So, let's see. One, two, three, four. So, obviously, in the other one as well, they've got five bomb plants down there. It's worrying. I mean, 15 rounds... Only one out of three rounds on their T side, they get the bomb down. And as I mentioned, generic team, then they always find these entries, regardless if Shaney gets those two picks. Like, it's only three rounds on the board for Xenex, so Shaney can only do so much. And if he's having, if he's the only one getting the impactful frags, and everyone else just gets the mop up frags, it's just it's not going to cut it. And I mean, when those frags rely on a generic team name to continue putting themselves in similar positions and to continue essentially offering them up, there's only so many times you can do it before they go, okay, you know what? We're not going to put ourselves there. We're not going to give you that pick to find. And then what are you going to do to open your way into the game? And it's a completely different showing as well in terms of confidence coming out from just a generic team name from map one. Opting in for that fast aggression and showing no fear towards the Senex players. They probably thought in their heads, you know what? They might be more experienced, but they're probably not better than us. I mean, what, I would argue they are. But at the same time, if you're the wildcard team, you're, you're not expected to do well. So you've got that dark horse mentality and... You can go into every single game thinking you're the better players, even if other people don't think it. As long as you think you're better, and as trouble was showing, he may be on the bottom frag there, but actually then again, the frags are so even, doesn't really make a difference. But trouble there, he kept peeking to Shaney, but it's the fact he keeps peeking him. And eventually we saw trouble getting those entries later on into the round where Shaney wasn't having the impact. So that's why I mentioned it was, I'm glad I'm seeing trouble, the one dying early on. And then as we saw later on, trouble was, trouble was the one getting the picks. So the confidence is showing. Yeah, throughout these guys, just as you said, coming into it with the mentality of a dark horse, they're not really that worried about finding themselves a victory, so they don't have that much pressure on them. Xenix, on, on the other hand, they won the first map, so they've got that pressure, and at the moment, they don't seem to be able to deal with the fact that generic team name don't care that much. They're just... I mean, they care, <laughs> yeah, but, they, but they're, they're not it's bothered. Money's money, of course they care. But I mean, they're, they're not bothered, they're not phased in terms of what Xenex yeah, is going to be doing to win or this what Xenex is going to be bringing They're not to expecting it. to win this game. The question is, will it get into their head? If, if Xenex win the pistol... Can they keep it going? I think if Xenex win the pistol, we're going to have a competitive game, as long as they don't get E-code. I think still, on Cobble, 12-3 on your CT side. Well, I mean, Genetic Team have just done it. If, if you give it up, yeah, I know. But if you if you give that up, then that is going to be devastating. Generic Team name. It'd be a great, it'd be a great vault to rewatch and learn from. But anyway, boys, right, we're going into the pistol round on our good, well, probably the most imp important pistol round of the game, of the day, of the games we've played today. My voice is starting to go a little bit, apologies. Going to be 12 to 3 in generic team name, just going for the straight up rush towards that A site. Jakey going to be the man there. The rotate's already being called off the sound. This is going to be Xenex versus GTN in full force. Started there by APC under win. The takes down one, but gets traded. Isaac as well chimes in. This is really good for the T side as they've opened up their A bomb site. Peggy, though, going to be coming in from behind, trying to do damage. Troubles expecting <coughs> it, but can't quite find the frag. And that means it is going to be even numbers going into the retake. Three versus three. JT with a flash trying to find his way through. Actually able to find a frag on Isaac who's looking the other way. That gives Shaney the chance to pick up Snakey and leaves AHB as the last alive. He will find one, but he can't see any more than that as Shaney rips his eyes off his body. 
hopefully generic team no can win an eco here and somehow keep Xenex on the low rounds because if Xenex have to claw this back with that experience I, I might favor Xenex going into this. I, I, I'm always too optimistic, so now you're being <laughs> optimistic, I have to switch it up, I have to say, nope, generic team name have got this, they're right, 12 Right, 5 pound bet right now. Nope. <laughs> there you go, then I win, mate. Xenex will win this map. Done and dusted, proved on stream. Anyway, you, one could say I'm slightly biased considering I played for this team, but I'm not being biased, I generally think the experience can show and shine because generic team name, they showed a really good CT side on, was it Cash? Mm -hmm. And then a weak T side. So question is will they d repeat the same and will this be a close game i mean obviously there is all the potential in the world for that but there's still rounds to come there's still stuff to be seen this round not going to be the biggest spectacle ever obviously last round was the bomb yep. plants they are just going to be saving to get those rifles and in they will hands. have the buy yeah so this one's going to be a little bit less uh, flamboyant than many <laughs> But there is still the chance for them to get the bomb down. There it's is still the chance for some damage, especially if they continue to just walk this through because Jakey's not going to know what's him. Oh my god, this spots four players. Shift walking up and he's going to get the call over and here comes the rotation. He spot the bomb as well, so four rotations from the CT. Shaney there, he's going to spot the players coming out of wood. Not really much they can do there with their no armor and pistols, but... Francis takes him down, trouble the flank, manages to get down Jakey. Francis will take him down nice and easily. It's only one man falling and to be honest, it's, mm, they didn't get the bomb down, but they weren't really expecting much. Here's the buy, and this is where it counts. I mean, if Jakey hadn't have turned around. Yeah, but at the same time, if you are playing solo, you do check it every now and again. Yeah, so no, of course. He's not uh, unlocking. They, they Pommy earlier, that was ridiculous. That was, I feel bad for Pommy. I do feel bad for Pommy. I mean. <laughs> do you reckon it was just Major Lee saying, guys, follow me, I've got a plan? Well, fair play, he was crouching through some of it, like not allowing to be spot spotted, but. Anyway, that was the past map, and Genetic Team then won that question is can they win another map for tonight well, seven round lead and the this is the most important round of the half i mean it's not because it's not a gun round it's going to be pistols Wait, actually, again generic team name decide they want the orp as well so this is going to be pistols and a completely underwhelming performance there's no frags come through i don't know why they've done oh, i mean i can see why they've done this because orp is important but all you've done is if you've you've allowed xenx to gain cash i mean fair play trouble your orp is great but is it worth allowing the cts to get four thousand extra dollars and another buy run. Yeah, there's, there's a time and a place for it. There's a time yeah, and a place exactly. to save. There's a time and a place to go, you know what? I should be confident with the right. I, mean, I want to see an ace from trouble right now because he's going to have to take out all these guns that he's just wasted them buying. It's, I mean, it's the same thing we saw before, though. They put so much faith into the guy. They are willing to give rounds up like this. But it's, it's just the CT economy is so important, especially in Cobblestone. We need those Molotovs to stop those B-rushes. And Shovel, though, does get aggressive, but Shaney here aggressive as well towards Matrix, peeking into mid, and things going to catch his player off, throwing the smoke off. Actually, no, gives away. This is important. He shoots his AWP, and this means that Trouble now, he's going to peek into rifles, and this is what happens. He knows there's no AWP on this site. He's just battling rifles, and he goes for that peek, takes down Dances. Can he get another, though? Peeks towards drop. Well, that player isn't exiting just yet. Molly comes into. Molly's coming into towards drop, and they're going to take towards drop control. Go for that B split, and the frag does come in. Reply, though. Only one man lead now as Peggy takes down Trouble. Yeah, Peggy manages to drop that AWP, but you've got to think a lot of position gain. A couple of men killed, not that bad a trade. Obviously, they're still going to have time to work off this, and at the moment, it looks like, well, Peggy might walk straight into one of them. Does check the corner, though, so the frag comes through on his side. Flash means he's not going to be able to proceed further than that, but it does mean we're going to be seeing a three versus three fairly early on, as GTN still have to find their way onto the site. They still have to get this bomb down, and Xenex are just going to be essentially as prepared as they possibly could be in this situation for that coming. Yeah, and generally, you're going to be favoring the T side here. It's obviously the CT defense is going to be split. So you're going to have three T players walking into only one or two. Sorry, three T players walking into one or two CTs. But the smoke off connector, that's great. Isolates this player onto the B bomb site. And it's going to be Peggy going down. And unfortunately for Peggy, this B bomb site, there's an HB. Gets another one, sprays him through the smoke. And it's going to be Shaney in the one versus three. That AWP was worth it. Yeah. But the problem was, Shaney got flashed. He shot his AWP. And that means Trouble knows he's just going to be peeking to rifles. He can do whatever he wants onto that B-bomb site. It is, uh, yeah, a, a little bit painful for Xenex, but again, it's, it's GTN um, justifying themselves, I think. It's GTN showing, okay, yes, we're willing to sacrifice a lot for it, but there's a reason behind it. We have purpose behind giving <laughs> yeah. that round up for free. Again, though, you've got to consider what are they going to be doing into the next round. Xenex still haven't spent all, all their the money. next games they play. I mean, this one op setup or this double op CT setup is quite gimmicky. I mean, all you have to do is just not give up the early frags and team g team generic team name. My goodness, Shane, they gets the exit frag, but not really too impactful. But as I was mentioning before, in these mid rounds, it seems like Xenex wins them. But it feels like if Xenex lose those first picks like they did in the previous g in the previous round, 
then Genetic Team, then win it. So, I mean, if you're a team looking at this right now, you could just be thinking to yourself, boys, play passive. Hide. <laughs> not hide, not hide, not hide. Okay. Play passive and just win the late round. Win the retakes, win the after plants, and you're going to win through that. But at the moment, obviously, Generic Team, they haven't found themselves in that bad a position. Something I'm surprised to see. There's no that? AWP on them anymore in trouble. Shows us why they give him an AWP. Well, right <laughs> on his hand, oh he goodness. just runs out like a headless chicken, gives well, they up have, his life. They have rounds to throw away, and so... Starts things off still. At worst there, he, he dies, but... Imagine he gets that one-for-one one trade. That's all that matters. And the thing is, when you've got a seven-round lead, you're, you're allowed to give away those early kills. You're allowed to play risky, because all it takes is one round of one risk, and you win the game. Yeah, but still, I think that may be a little bit too much. No backup, no nothing. Just trying to play for the one for one and I mean in a position where there are going to be multiple CTs watching you nine times out of ten it's to me a little bit too risky a little bit too dangerous a little bit too uh too I mean not jump like obviously jumping on someone's head is a bit ridiculous yeah. <laughs> but the thing is he was anticipating I think what he was anticipating there was one play on platform mm -hmm. the flash comes in player platforms flash and he has the one v one versus the player's sight unfortunately though they weren't playing that sub the player was cracked so he just jumped up to his head and got sprayed down so Unfortunate. Nevertheless, a generic team they are going to be trying to work their way out towards B. This time, hopefully, without standing on anybody's head, as AHV spots the man instead and takes him down. Yep, four versus four, but JT on the flank that catches Major League, not even looking anywhere near him. Thank you as well, gets tagged up by Isaac there. Is that a team kill? That was Chaney. Yeah, Dance is doing team damage to Chaney or vice versa, so I can't really read it properly from this point of view, but JK and Shaney and JT in the three versus two now. Can HB hold it? But no, Snakey goes down. HB actually is still alive. Takes down one. Such low HP, but he has the smoke. He has flashes to work with. Wide faces, takes down one. What are they doing? Shaney, he has the pistol in hand. It's going to be one pistol shot to win it, and I think he's going to do it. Yeah, just a body shot will do it. 13-7 and generic team name. Let's take a look at their money. Are they reset? So, yes, they are. And the thing is, we know they want to save for that orb, so it's going to be a few free rounds for Xenex, and that's when it gets to 13-8, and it's looking winnable. I mean, that's why sometimes risky plays aren't the best idea. You, you talk I mean, they have the rounds to throw away with, but yeah, well it isn't worth it. You talk it, about rounds to throw away. Um, I've, I've got to reference what you said earlier and say that Xenex are a team you expect, if they get the ball rolling here, can keep that momentum going yeah. and just push through. So you don't want to give them any of the rounds you have to throw away. You want to keep them as a buffer in case yep. that happens to work your way back into it. So it should be obviously not too careful because being a little bit more brash has got them to this point, but... Not ridiculous yet. Oh my goodness, Dancy's with the double kill. That's right, actually that nade, JT and Dancy's with their nades both getting a kill apiece. Dancy's playing close, obviously just catches them jumping, plucks them out of mid-air, gets the headshot, juicy 3k there, padding his stats. And uh, let's take a look at the frags. So, let's look at the frags and the money. That's, that's going to be very important to this round, if we can get that on the board. So, actually they decide to buy without an orb, and Chubba might go glass cannon, I think he did. This is going to be huge. Yeah, glass cannon orb. This is the thing. How are they going to utilize this orb with a glass cannon? How do you think they should play it? <laughs> Legitimately on T's side, I, I, I think, think it's one of the most dangerous things you can do. But at the moment, it looks like he's going to be heading out onto Speedway and actually going to see if he can find anybody trying to get a little bit aggressive. Well, the thing is, he knows that this player is playing towards outside drop constantly by Speedway. He might be trying to go for that quick peek, but Dance is at tree. I imagine that catches him off guard and... I don't really see trouble having too much of an impact this round. And once that orb stops working, I think generic team names start will stop working. They're definitely going to be in trouble. Uh, pardon the pun. But huh. It's yeah, as as you said, it's it's worrying for them. And I I do think glass cannon on T side for me personally is one of those things that you don't it's really confidence. enjoy if seeing. You, if it's you're confident it's confidence, but, but it's it's risky because one bullet hits you, one bullet hits you anywhere, you're useless. But I think the biggest problem is it's the sacrifice of utility you have when you buy that AWP. I mean, he could have bought AK, full set of nades, and they could have gone for a more, you know, tactical approach towards the round, but instead they opt for that first pick style with the AWP and no armor. Yeah, and unfortunately they don't find that first pick. Yeah, so this is where uh, it goes a bit tits up for them. Yeah, this is, this is where you reconsider everything you've done and start to question what's happened in that round for you, because... Right now, they're left with a man with no armor and, what, 30 seconds to get the push started? Well, at the same time, though, there is only two players towards the A-bomb site, so... Yeah, but look at... Oh, this is awful. Oh, my goodness, JT actually loses that draw majorly with the headshot. The question is, can he get the... Can he stop the backstab? Isaac chimes in as well, but Darcy with the reflag. JK as well chimes in. It's a three versus three. Low HP on JK. Just a deagle. AHB, they're going to catch JK. Of God, goes with a flash, but... Fortunately, that doesn't quite bloom in time, but Peggy does get that refrag. So, refrag's coming out. Trade kill's coming out. 
and the round is looking like it's going to be over. It just depends whether AHB can get this one versus two. Yeah, AHB can be a tough spot. That's good Spots down. Peggy out, but can't quite find the frag in time. The reflex happened so fast, and it's a good sign, but the problem is the bomb goes down, and that player that is completely wide faces from sight peeks towards connect. I mean, either he's not really wanting to play the late round, Maybe thinks, you know what, we haven't got the best utility, we can't hold these CTs off, and once they get close, we're in the disadvantage. So tries to get the opening pick, but he's so low HP, he just goes down instantly. Another board on the round, another round on the board for Xenex. Only four rounds behind, and this is where they start creeping up. Yeah, I mean, this is why you don't want to be playing uh, risky rounds early on, because no. it can lead to this sort of <laughs> snowball effect that Xenex have found themselves taking part in. Generic team name now back on the pistols, back on those tech nines, which honestly, they don't work with. I we've mean, we've seen multiple rounds of these guys where they just get completely. This player in out. Matrix is about to have a field day. Actually, no, they opt to go mid. So Shenny gets the tag on two of them. Jakey, they're about to face mid of this rifle. He's going to spray down one. Three peaks, gets another spray into second. But oh, the running, jumping edge from Isaac takes him down. It's now two versus four. They might be able to get a few frags here as the A bomb site's hard to retake. I mean, yeah, you'd hope that they'd be going for the bomb part for that little bit of extra cash. But at the moment, they don't seem to be able to find a clear way there. And honestly, if they try and go for it, I assume we're just going to be seeing the swarm come into play. If not, earlier trouble gives himself Has the away. nade. Kobe. Fortunately, uh, Isaac is able to get the bomb down before the nade from Dancy's comes through. So they are going to be seeing that little bit of an economic bonus as well. But still, three it's, rounds. it's another round for Xenex, isn't it? Yeah, three rounds difference at this point. Um, things are slipping quickly. Your prediction's coming true. And Xenex are actually say? looking again with a chance of taking this all the way. I mean, once you realize that the only way they win, ra the only way they win rounds is by the AWP pick, and the second that Xenex don't give away those careless picks and they start flashing before they peak, it's just that T side from generic team and just crumbles. But three round difference now. Xenex done the creep it up, creep up the rounds, and uh, four, three, sorry, two stacks towards B, one drop, and then two players towards eight. Now, will they go for the B push for the information? The thing is, though, Xenex are still behind, so they don't really want to get too aggressive and throw away their momentum that they've got currently as they're slowly pushing up the rounds, coming closer, but AHB, here's the jump spot. Does he anticipate the player going for the boost, or will he just fall back from drop? Well, at the moment, nothing to anticipate as no one's going to be there. The flash comes through. He freaks out, but there's nothing to see. So he manages <laughs> to molly it off, keep yep. himself safe. And really just generic team, they managed to continue to set up how they want. They're given a lot of space to get, like, to work their way towards sites. Mm -hmm. It is just Xenex with those insular holds, making sure they can't get any further than that point. And again, I reckon we're going to be seeing more of the same in this round. Where is Shaney's all playing currently? Do we know? Actually, we'll talk about that later. JT with the first pick. So, this is the thing. The first pick now goes in the favor of Xenex. And when that happens, we already know what happens. Whenever GTN don't get that opening pick, always seems to go a bit pear-shaped. But Isaac there, Jakey in God's spot. This is the thing. Trouble with the AWP. He's not going to... I mean, if he pre-aims this, fair play. But I don't really expect it to happen. He's looking for that connector rotate, but I don't think it's going to happen. Slowly facing, but here comes the smoke towards connector. Will this bait out the player Peggy to go for spot for the information? Instead, pulls back. Jakey there in God's spot. Gets one, but only gets traded out, but he gets the information. This is the key. He spots the bomb. Here comes the players. They jump out. They've got player towards balcony and then Peggy on site. Gets modded off, drops off though, but the flash comes in from his teammate, gets traded. So two versus three. Yeah, and it's going to be trouble again with the AWP. Trying to make the impact work. Finds himself, Peggy does. Gets Seven tagged seconds. down by JT, but he finds himself onto the site to get that bomb down. Drops afterwards, but as you said, he didn't have the time to do anything else. Unfortunately for him, it means that Snakey's the last man alive and he's not really in a position to fight back for it. So it's another round on the ball for Xenex. They get taken out fairly quickly. They don't manage to carry a anything really through on the yeah, value and it means that we're going to be seeing them again with a low economy they have to buy the orb trouble yep. has to buy the orb and it means they're investing everything they can on every player into all of these rounds and xenex are getting free rounds out of it the reason i was interested in where shaney was is because if trouble meets shaney the question is who wins on the reverse side so originally we saw trouble losing the initial ct picks towards shaney but the thing is can he start winning the team rounds. I think we're about to find it. Shenny gets flashed, though. He's not even peeking. I don't know what he's doing. Holds the angle. This is the thing. Can Trouble get out of this and go for that repeat? But Shenny mollies him off. Can he get a flash from his teammates and get out? But instead, they're all just whiffing. And Isaac gets the trade. It's going to be the four versus four. Trying to get another spray down. But doesn't want to overcommit when he's low HP. But Major Lee finds a frag in. Connected by... Sorry, in drop gets traded. But Peggy with one. Gets two. Throws the molly off. They know where the last player is. And it's looking like it's going to be 13-12. 
Yeah, Sneaky trying to see what he can do with the Molly. <laughs> JT just the runs him out, down. The flash is there, the retreat is on, and as you said, JT runs him down. Another on the board for Xenex as they pull themselves within one round <laughs> of generic team name, who... I mean, I'm sorry, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, they've won one in this half so far. I mean, what happens when Trouble doesn't get that put? I mean, we keep saying it, but I, I brought up the Orp versus Orp duel, then Shaney whiffing, Trouble whiffing. But at the end of the day, Xenex don't care if Shaney loses that Orp duel. They don't, it, it doesn't matter it's if he misses. It's not their entire plan. Exactly. It's, not, it's, it doesn't, it's like with Trouble, if that doesn't happen, they lose the round. It is It is similar to old times when you got Kenny. <laughs> yeah, I imagine. If he doesn't go off, oh, we we'll are in trouble. Oh, put Trouble at that caliber, yeah. Oh, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying he's <laughs> at that level. I'm saying the way the team's structured around. Smart play, the jump spot. He sees the players coming towards site now, and he can just go for that wide peak. Dance is a well tree. doesn't want to peek out. Peggy going for that pick, but actually, Dance gets traded out by Isaac. Quick flurry of frags come in. It's Isaac stuck on the one versus three. Yep, and what are you going to do with a P250 and three angry players looking at you apparently make no, that no, number two? Difference. Finds himself the frag on Peggy, starts to cross over towards site and might actually have the chance for Shaney there as he was isolated off. Unfortunately, no frag comes and it is going to be a tied scoreline. Really smart setup there from Xenex, going for that Peggy at site, just jump spoiling. As I mentioned before, Snakey was over committing when he was at that statue. Peggy, however, doesn't overcommit, no his run pistols, just jump peaks, and you've got Dance, he's a hiding tree, doesn't show himself until the attack actually comes in. He holds speedway so that Peggy can't get flanked from the left side. Peggy watches the sight so that Dance can't get, sh can't get shot from the right side, and it's a great setup. Yeah, it is. Oh, Peggy. this is the flash for the, the, the plat peak. Gets flashed, but I think Shaney gets kind of flashed by trouble, yeah. so they're not going to go for the peak. Does he get the second flash? Nope, the smoke comes in, Olaf finds the smoke comes in. No doubt, just trying to do some damage, but it doesn't really connect much. Shaney obviously not wanting to go for any unfavorable situation as he does have a hell of a valuable weapon. And in this situation, there's not even that much to gain from it. Trouble doesn't have the orb, so you can already assume generic team name not going to have a great start. <laughs> could you imagine? Especially they with lose Shaney this round. He doesn't have an orb, so they lose. Well, I'm not saying they lose, but oh, I'm saying Shaney it's not going to be as easy actually gets to find the tag. opening pick. Shaney, as you said as well, finds the tag on Trouble. And that means we are going to be seeing Xenex with a marked advantage early on. JT as well in a brilliant place to cut players off if they decide to come through this window. They're going to be expecting him, but he can still find himself one at least. Major Lee going to be in his way what as well, and he drops. What am I watching? That is very um, interesting from generic team name. They knew the man was there. They flashed twice. They still managed to lose both players, and now Trouble's going to be gone as well. There's nothing they can do in this round, apparently. Isaac drops, and that means it's Snakey once more in a 1v4. This is the thing, generic team they don't have the luxury of those bonus rounds that they can just throw away and saving for orbs. When they buy the rifles, they just have nothing showing. I mean, what? <laughs> I don't know what I just witnessed, to be fair, mate. I couldn't tell you. Honestly, though, that's that's not even not having the orbs. Like, that's not not having trouble to find that's that pick. That's not CS. That is, that's just, yeah, that's basic CS not coming through when you're trying to clear that window. I mean, that flash, fair enough, right? But the thing is, we saw Olaf Meister, I remember at Cologne, where he threw that flash and peaks because he knows he anticipates the CT going going to turn away. But instead, you've got one T jumping and one T just slowly walking into a window and they both get headshot. Regardless, hopefully, generic team can show us make so something better on this round of this four stop and they probably weren't expecting this, were they? I doubt they were going to be expecting Zax to be on the cusp of round point um, anytime soon. But again, they're here and they're ready to work. Generic team name having a Ready trouble to work. having trouble finding anything really as trouble goes down again. No orp, no luck. Isaac though, ready to come back, does manage to take the orp away from Zenex as well. Shaney goes down, that's Major Lee with the frag onto JT. AHB doing the work as well, and that's what they need. Yep, it's only one man advantage now for generic team name. The thing is though, Peggy's so close and they don't even, they haven't spotted him yet. The thing is, will they see him? They plant the bomb and they don't know where he is. This is where he can get the backstab in. Major Lee doesn't expect him, and as I said. They're just not playing smart CS here. They know where Isaac is on site and they spot the other player plat now. They have the monitor to flush him out. Snakey going to be finding Peggy nice and easy. Now it's just Jakey and Isaac. Please don't give him a yeah. free kill here. Please don't just let him headshot you. Make sure that the crossfire is set up. Make sure your teammate has your back. Make sure we see this tied up 14-14 as Jakey can't find it. Fortunately, Nothing goes wrong, and generic team name do manage to find themselves. I think what is only their second round in the yeah. half. Yeah, but you're in the three versus two in that situation. You don't know where both the CT's players are. Just don't plant. Fake plant and spot for information. And what that does is it doesn't allow those backstabs to come in. We saw what happened. Major League just going down, being shot in the back. Probably quite frustrated at his teammates there, but maybe the pressure getting to <laughs> generic team name. 14-14. So, five, sorry, four rifles in the Tech 9 coming out. Considering they just won the round and they're on yet less firepower. Just goes to show how much how Xenex have been dominating this half. But 
quite a D47 coming up from here. Zenex expecting a push for HQ. Flashes in, catches JT. Counting for the flash, but Shaney gets the pick again into trouble. Shaney keeps killing trouble. Yeah. <laughs> A very uh, difficult situation for the man to be in, but as you said, Shaney has stepped up his game. Mm -hmm. We saw it in the first half. Obviously, at that point, Trouble could hide. This half, he doesn't have that luxury, and it means that Shaney gets that pick again and again and again. And in this situation, it means it is going to be a 4v4. It means we are going to be seeing generic team names still with the advantage, but historically, in 4v4 situations, who's come out on top? Yeah. But we're not seeing confidence coming up from Trouble now. We're just seeing stupidity. <coughs> Constantly throwing away his frag and his life, and Shaney gets another one. Snakey goes down and he spots that player drop. The thing is, does he wide face into him? Throws the flash, but I'm not sure if that will connect to Shaney. Actually, Shaney goes down to Isaac, but Dart is on tree, takes down one, refaces and takes down another. Ooh, perfect spray transfer, but unfortunately there wasn't a player there. That's great sensitivity control there. Just 360 sprays him down and it's match point for Xenex. Do you want a COT? I want to go to bed to be fair with you, but I'd love to COT. I, I would as well, but I don't think generic team name could really hold their own in it. No. That's just so many issues they seem to be facing at the moment. In that round specifically, Dancy's with the free frags. Mm -hmm. With Great. the three frags, I mean, the free frags as well. He shouldn't have been allowed to get that many. They flashed out. Nobody ran with the flash. Nobody tried to take him while he was turning away. They wait for him to turn back around before they actually get anything started. And it's just a little bit unfortunate when you see that translating into a round win and this sort of a bite yeah. forced onto a team on round number 14. But the T's had nades in that previous round. I mean, they could have Molotov tree. They, Xenix keep playing tree. So many options. All you got to do is get to the uh, left side of the box there at B plat and then look at where the tree meets the uh, the pillar there to the right. And that's where the Molotov is for tree. It's not really that difficult, but maybe they don't know it. But three frags coming out fast for Xenex. Two versus four. Major League goes down. Oh, it's not GG. Snake at 7 HP. Question is, can he pull off a miracle? I mean, at this point, I'm highly doubting it, but he is going to be flashing over for the attempt. Spots the man apparently through the smoke. He starts the spray so close on Shaney. But as you said, nothing comes of it. And it is going to be Xenex taking this one 16-14. A brilliant start for generic team name. Something that was absolutely Probably amazing quite gutting, out of them. Though, but considering they didn't yeah, win that game. Again, but. after half time, they just completely fall apart. And I can agree with you 100%. They must be upset. 